If you're ever walking around downtown Seattle, you might have missed this. It's called Forest Pave. It's a permeable surface that allows water to pass through and at the same time it protects tree roots. We've installed it on hundreds or maybe thousands of city trees in the greater Seattle area. If you have tree pits in your city that need attention, Root Cause would love to hear from you. This project involves installing Forest Pave in 77 tree pits. About 65 of them are on the main street and the rest are on one of the side streets. This is a high pedestrian use area. Um, a lot, and there's just a lot of people, a lot of shops. People come out here, especially on the weekends, it's crazy busy. Walk up and down these sidewalks and there's all kinds of little shops and boutiques and restaurants and things. Um, the problem is that there's just not enough pedestrian space, especially since COVID, a lot of the restaurants in particular have added seating on, that butts up against what used to be the sidewalk and it's really squeezed the pedestrian access. So this, that's why the city had us come out and basically fix these tree pits. Because to the extent that pedestrians repeatedly walk through the tree pits, uh, this repeated footsteps just wear the material out, wear out the soil or gravel or whatever's in place there. Um, creates little divots, which ultimately creates trip hazards. When you got a lot of pedestrians walking through an area repeatedly, especially when the sidewalk is narrow and you got people coming from both directions and they got to pass each other, inevitably a lot of people walk through the tree pits. Now the, obviously the concrete is solid, right? The tree pit is the opening within the concrete. The tree is there and that's surrounded by soil or surrounded by gravel or surrounded by some other material. Repeatedly walking through there just kicks out, the material constantly gets kicked out. And over time, it creates a little trip hazards, meaning, you know, that you, you get a little hole there, okay? The advantage of the, of the porous pave is it's porous, and so water still gets through it, but it's solid. And so in a scenario like this, where you got a heavy pedestrian use walkway, it really just expands the walkable surface. There's a lot of people here all the time. There's no parking at all. My job is to coordinate all of that, uh, keep the guys working. We have to always keep the sidewalk open as we work. So that really the only thing that we ever have in the sidewalk is a wheelbarrow. We got to interact with a lot of people. A lot of people stop and ask questions. A big part of what we do is we got to be able to communicate with people, keep everybody happy, not block the sidewalk, allow pedestrians to pass by because again, all the businesses are still open. A lot of these tree pits took a, took a lot of uh, prep, including, like I say, removing, uh, uh, removing ivy, removing an exceptional amount of, of smaller plants. Some of them, like the one I'll show you down here, um, had some mature rose bushes, and we decided to leave those in place because, because they're pretty, you know, and put the material around it. Not what we normally do. Normally, we just leave the tree, um, but these roses look so good that we decided to leave some of the business owners had put, planted different things in the tree pits to help take up that walking space or help reduce the trip hazards. Some of them put these planters in. We completely skipped that one because um, the, the plantings in it were so nice and the, the person that has the adjacent business had put so much effort into keeping that tree pit nice that uh, we, they were allowed to keep it like that and we skipped it. Uh, but a lot of them had these planters these removable planters, we actually took those out in order to uh, to do all the prep. We put them back uh, after we did the prep because we had a gap between the time we did prepped everything and the time we're going to install the material. So once we install the material, we'll have to take them out again, put the material in, and then when we come back to take all the cones away, put the pots back on top of the material. If you have tree pits in your city that need attention, Root Cause would love to hear from you.